Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. I'm just going to take some Moonology card spirit for this reading. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. We're all good enough. Spirit loves us exactly the way we are. Don't let the past hold you back, South Node. Don't let the past hold you back. Now, there we go. Oh, that one wanted to come, didn't it? The emotions are running high, super moon. So emotions may be running high, but you are good enough. You always are. Spirit sees you as the perfect version of yourself. And we're going to let the past go here. We're not going to let what's happened in the past hold us back. Ask your angels. Now, angels can be in the, the heavenly, realm, heavenly realm. They don't have to be. They can be angels on this material earth. So good friends, supportive networks, family. Uh, partner, whoever you see as an angel, angels walk this material earth as well. So supportive networks, good people around you. So you might need a wee bit of support or you might need a wee bit of advice. You might want to talk about this with someone you trust or you might want to do it in a spiritual way. You are good enough, the Knight of Swords, the Lover's Card, the Two of Pentacles. Don't let the past hold you back. Four of Pentacles, central energy here. Conflicting, Five of Wands. The beautiful Queen of Wands. Emotions are running high. This is about the Eight of, uh, the eight of Pentacles. We've got the King of Swords here. And the Three of Pentacles. Now, what we've got at the centre is, we're talking about not letting the past hold us back. We have got this four of pentacles. This has came out for the same way for another sign, and I can't remember which sign it was. This four of pentacles is about holding on to something too tightly that we need to let go. We're stopping new things coming in. Now, if we, we want to let the past go, it's telling you to let the past go here. So don't hold on to anything from your past that's going to hold you back. Now, there could have been a certain amount of stability, and that's why you've done it. It could be you're in a job that paid your bills, but it doesn't satisfy you. You know, it's this kind of stability. There's been enough money to pay your bills, so therefore there's a certain amount of security. We don't want to let the past hold us back. We don't want to be holding on to anything from the past that's making us, uh, that we need to let go here. Now, there can be conflicting energies here. Now, Spirit is telling you here that you're good enough. So this can be doubting yourself as well. This could be you thinking, I'll never achieve, I'll never do, I'm not good enough, all that type of energies, it can be within you. So we want to be letting all that go because that could be what's holding us back here. It could also be people who have your best interests at heart and you might be moving on to new things because you're letting the past go here. It's gave you a certain amount of security and people are saying, are you sure you want to do that? You know, I'm not sure I would do that if I was you, but you've not to listen to them. You have to do what, you, everybody has to do what's right for them. So we want to be letting all that go as well. Fives have changed. And what we want to be doing is we want to let go of the past, anything that we're not satisfied with or that's been stifling us. And we want to go towards this Queen of Wands energy, which is a very passionate, creative energy. She is doing things and investing her energies into things that um, she can put her heart and soul into. So this could be a job that you're loving. It's time to let go of the past, something, maybe a company you've worked in for years, and go towards what it is that you want to create for yourself. It could be you going out on your own and buying a new house. It could be living on your own. If you've been in a, a relationship that's given you a certain amount of security, you're letting all that go now. You're doing what's right, believing that you have the ability to do what's right for yourself. So it could be learning a new skill. It could be developing a skill you have. All that type of creative energy. But she's putting her efforts into things that uh, make her heart sing. And that's highly important. You're good enough and you're able to do this. Now, they're saying here, it's this could be the choice card. The old idea, this is Gemini energy, the old idea, the lover's card was choices. So it could be that you're choosing to let the past go now and you're, you're believing you're good enough and you're making the choice to make, weigh things up here about how you're going to move forward towards greater balance in your life. So letting go anything, like I say, you might have to weigh things up, make a head over heels decision, let things go, bring better balance in, So that, choosing to do that so you can move forward 
with some kind of clarity. Now, you're good enough. You're able to do this. You're perfectly capable of weighing things up here. Now, this could be in any area of your life. Like I say, your work life, your relationships, your finances or your environments. But it's about weighing things up and making the choice here to go forward towards creating clarity for yourself. Seeing the way the path forward and taking the actions to go down that path towards something that you're passionate about, whatever it may be for you. Now, this could be somebody coming in with news that's going to help you make that decision and may help you with your choices. And if this is somebody coming in, it's a Libra Gemini or Aquarius energy, but it doesn't have to be. Now, this could also be somebody coming in with information and you're weighing things up about a relationship that you could go into. And it could turn out to be something that you're going to be passionate about. And it's something you can put your heart and soul into. So we don't want to be thinking that we're not good enough for love. We don't want to be thinking we're not good enough for anything. We want to be believing in ourselves here, weighing things up and going down that path to come away from past stuck energies. We're letting everything go now and we're moving forward uh, with Vesta here, with speed and clarity. Now, it could be, like I say, emotions are running high here because we are not sure which way we want to go down. We're a bit conflicted. But what Spirit's saying is that when we're passionate and we're putting our efforts into things, and our work into things, and we're creating great stability for ourselves, that is where the benefits come from. Now, we're moving forward towards clarity here. This is an intellectual energy. We're doing it from an intellectual point of view. Now, it could be somebody coming in with information for us, like I say. It could be a Libra, Gen, and I, Aquarius. It could be a professional person that's given us information. So they're communicating something to us that's going to help move you on. So this could be a doctor, a lawyer, and a bank accountant, anybody like that, bank manager, or it could also somebody coming in and telling you something that's going to give you the clarity you need to help with the decisions that you have to make to weigh things up and go towards creating beautiful things. Now, it could be somebody communicating to you as a very mature energy, intellectual person uh, that's coming forward, that they've got clarity about a relationship, that they want to go into a relationship with you because they see you as an attractive proposition. It could also somebody be seeing you as an attractive proposition for a job. You might get on the course you want, and this could be the, the person at the university or college, whatever it is, whoever it is, administrator, telling you that you've, you know, you've got what you want, and you're going to have to weigh things up here to decide how you're going to proceed. But some, some kind of clarity is coming for you. Now, this here is about laying solid foundations for your future. Now, this is investment. So anything you put your efforts into here that's tangible in your life, your relationships, your finances, your work life or your environments, it's about collaboration. So you could be going into a job where you've been part of a team and you're all working together to lay the solid foundations in which there will be growth. It could be a relationship you're going into. It could be a home you're investing in together, putting your finances together. But whatever it is, there is going to be growth because this is stable foundations that are being laid. And when we lay these kind of stable foundations and we work at them, we look at the detail and we get our head down and focus on things, then we will see growth. We will benefit. Anything you put your efforts into here that's in a stable sense is going to grow for you. So here, this is you're very good at what you do on a daily basis. You've got the skills that's needed to lay these solid foundations. This is also about respecting your skills as well and your abilities here. So it could be in anything. You could be setting up a good financial plan with you and your partner and you're working hard at it and there's going to be growth. It could be investing in a home with someone and you see the profits rising through time. You know, it could be laying solid foundations in a workplace and you're going to work hard at it and there could be growth and success in that sense. So it will be different for everybody, but great growth to be had. So letting the past go now, believing you're good enough to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve here. Strength. You have an enormous amount of strength and courage. Remain focused, stand tall and shine. It's your time to show off your skills here. Definitely. One more spirit, please. Oh, two more. Birth. This is the time for new beginnings. Embrace the new life with open arms. Let go of the past. It's time to move forward here. Definitely, Gemini. Skills. It's time to learn some new skills, study a course or start a new hobby. 
Absolutely. Something that you can put your heart and soul into here. Definitely. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.